This was the moment the sea was finally allowed to break in, after hundreds of years of being kept at bay by the shingle. As it floods inland, it will create the largest realignment of the British coast in modern history. The Environment Agency also believes it will significantly improve the flood defence around Selsey. The theory is that as the waves come in, the land will absorb their power, well before they reach the new earth defences inland. The defences are also the same height as the existing um, shingle bank along the front of the site. So again, they're, they're at a decent height um, and some of those also have rock protection on as well in the more vulnerable locations. I'm very confident um, the, the flood protection is very much improved by this scheme. Uh, previously, um, every year or so, there was some water overtopping the existing defences and we don't expect anything like that at all now. It's from the air that you can best appreciate the scale of this project. It covers nearly two square miles in all. About 40,000 lorry loads of earth were excavated from pits within the site to create the new earth bund that snakes for nearly five miles from one end to the other. The rock, all 60,000 tonnes of it, was imported from Norway. Eight million pounds were spent purchasing the land, another 20 million went on design and construction. The project's taken six months longer than expected because the site turned into a quagmire when heavy rain fell last summer and winter. It was really tough for the machines to move. Within our business, if it rains and it gets muddy for one day, you end up clearing up two days. Whereas this case, I think it was uh, give up and sort of leave it to do what it had to do. When the scheme was first mooted 15 years ago, not everyone in Selsey was keen. Bun's Leisure Caravan Park was particularly upset that part of their site would have been left unprotected. They've had to build their own sea defence. But now, as the landscape begins to transform, there's a widespread feeling that this could bring all sorts of benefits to Selsey. Well, I think anyone that's been involved with this project should feel really proud. It's, it's obviously something that's going to change this part of Britain uh, along the south coast. And uh, yeah, I think everyone should be hold their heads up high.